Good evening, Zelhan. Here, yeah. let's get to it. Stock analysis for today, 8th of February of Dito CME Holdings Corp. Okay, I already plot the my technical analysis and big volume we can see the big volume already here and it surpassed the 70 and it's now the RSI is surpassed 70 and it's 78 and the uh, cross uh, MACD is now around 1.2 uh, we get the <coughs> the week on the MACD it's uh, momentum to the upward so let's check this out I plotted numbers here this is like uh, the Elliott wave so this is the first wave the second wave and I'm plotting the third wave here but still depends on the sentiment and the price action and the volume since the volume is not quite high as the second wave so oh okay pala mm -hmm then this is my first take profit which is I put the Fibonacci retracement here from the previous high to the lower lows on the uh, triple bottom here uh, it's a daily time frame guys so next target if we surpass this and break out to the upward of this 17 pesos so the next target would be the 20 uh, pesos range uh -huh. and after that it would go my target third wave when once it goes the third wave there's possibly a pullback but still if a uh, worst case scenario if it goes 17 and there's a short term pullback yeah <clears throat> and the RSI would be uh, it will be in the short bias uh -huh. so but so far it's it's doing the upward momentum mm -hmm. So if we put a drawing, it seems like a. Uh, if you review it, it seems like a. Uh, uh -huh. Cup. It's a cup like that. This is like a cup. You right. So. Uh, maybe there's a pullback a little pullback here of if it if don't if it doesn't break if to the up uh, 17 I mean or it could go down 
down for a little bit like 12 the worst case scenario uh, if it goes back and it breaks the support on the 10 so I'm not be bullish on the Dito but uh, uh, according to uh, according to the sentiments uh, holders there's a lot of holders and buyers and foreigners so far I've the investors are really going and and holding this in the long term so we we, we are gonna see uh, really a uh, bright future on the D2 uh, if it goes well uh, it surpassed the 17 to 18 uh, it will go surpass the 20 level area and, and it could be sometimes uh, Fibonacci retracement at 2.618 is really popular uh, target uh, when doing a bullish bullish scenario on any stock not only on Dito you can also see and check uh, stock analysis on other trader like the foreign traders I'm watching yes then mm, I'm expecting also in the Iris I would be on this level once it hits those level there's I think that will be uh, bullish and uh, possible pullback but still around the sentiments is really but depends on the open market still since it's still closed tomorrow we can see if this volume today then it surpass previous volume so we can see an yeah 70, 70 to 80% upward if not uh, it would be a con consolidation again or not it could uh, stagnant again and wait again for the next month but if we check the month uh, monthly time frame yeah it's forming and you see this forming a pattern the popular pattern of a bullish like this uh, inverted H pattern if we do weekly yeah it's still doing inverted H so <laughs> mostly uh, inverted H is like this uh, consolidation then whoop, going up yeah still a long way and there's no sign on the weekly of a sign of weakness of the buyers not yet if we do the four hours mm -hmm. four hours yeah yes uh, it's still a uh, long 
bias for on this chart on this time frame so I think that's it for today for the stock uh, trading technical analysis on the detail share if you like the video uh, please subscribe turn on the notification bell to be updated on the next analysis on any stocks uh, from global to and local markets here in the Philippines so see ya and monitor this stock tomorrow thank you for watching